Hi, I'm Carly and welcome to my 450 square feet apartment in Hell's Kitchen. So this is my kitchen. Um, as soon as you walk in, you actually walk straight into the kitchen. So the first thing you see really is this brick square and this chandelier, which was already here. It just was so ugly. It was missing so many crystals. I think there was only like four on it. So last year I actually added so many more crystals to make it pop again. And I'm really grateful actually for our skylights in the apartment. The sun shines down really nicely in the middle of the day and create little rainbows everywhere. Behind me is this framed brick square, which I don't know the story behind it. I have one in my bedroom too. Um, I'm trying to find out from the landlord like why of all the apartments we have this because none of the other ones do. But this was a gold frame and the brick was red. It didn't fit my neutral vibes. So I spackled over it and painted the frame the same as the walls. So these are shelves that I put up for our coffee cups and teacups. I just found these random pieces of scrap wood in a local hardware store and they fit perfectly. And then I've just decorated it with some gold frames and these hanging vines that I cut from a plant in the bedroom and they're just sitting there in water for now. Our fridge is very old. I have lots of pictures on there for, of family and friends and my mother and my grandma and all of my aunts had pictures of their grandkids and stuff and family on their fridge so I felt like this feels very like home to me and I don't like when I see a fridge empty. I recently actually wallpapered over black tiles so the black tile backsplash went all the way up to the ceiling so I've added this beadboard wallpaper not knowing how it was going to go but you can see up there that it kind of like sunk into the grooves of the tiles, so it wasn't a complete great DIY, but I still prefer it over the black. And I should also mention that the um, countertops, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not real marble, it's peel and stick. The original color of the countertops are like a very dark blue gray, and I just didn't really like it, like very, like a granite material. Um, and then this under here was wood, but I wanted them to match. Over here we have a little seating moment. We actually fight over who's gonna seat here because we just love it. In the morning I'll always kind of be here with a cup of coffee and then Martin just crashes here. Martin's my fiance by the way. He just crashes here at the end of the day. So I really should get another chair so we could sit here together. Above the radiator is a sketch of my grandparents' house. Their house was kind of like my second home when I was living in England. I came here every summer and spent the entire summer at my grandparents' house, so I love this sketch. We have this cabinet here which actually holds our shoes because we don't actually have an entryway. Um, this kind of corner here is our little entry area and in the top drawer is just, I don't know if you want to see, <laughs> it's just like junk. It's just everyone has a junk drawer and this is ours. Okay, so this is the hallway. Um, and like I mentioned, we don't have an entryway, so I've hung these hooks here to hang our bags and coats and hats. I also added these pieces of wood here. You'll notice this in the bedroom and the living room as well. I think it just adds some visual interest without having to add too much because I am a bit of a minimalist at heart, which is hard to do in a small apartment. And then I just have these simple sketches up here on the wall. And this is where our bathroom is. So this is our tiny living room, um, which technically is a bedroom. And it was in fact my bedroom. I used to live here with a roommate and this was my tiny little room. I had a full size bed up wedged into this corner here. When I made this into a living room, I got a futon because 
it's such a small room we couldn't really fit a full size sofa and I also wanted the opportunity to have our friends and family stay with us when they come to visit and then I have this little nook here which I thought was perfect to put a pedestal in um, we made it well not we Martin made it with pieces of wood and then I put spackling over it and then I have this really tall branch tree Thing. It's not real. The, well, the branches are real, but the leaves are fake. I wanted just something with height to really just help this space feel a bit bigger or as large as it possibly can. The panelling on the wall I think helps as well with that, kind of draws the eye up. On this side of the wall is where our TV is. The bench just doesn't take up that much room at all. And luckily Martin doesn't actually play video games so all I had to hide was the Wi-Fi box and some wires which I've done with books and just some decorative items. Over here I have this dresser which a dresser is just so good for storage um, and then on the wall I have a I don't even want to say it's a piece of artwork because I made it myself and I'm not an artist but I made this out of cardboard uh, specifically Amazon boxes. I follow a woman on Instagram called Simone Polk and she makes a lot of artwork using like lovely fabrics and she calls them patches and I thought I could achieve the same look with some cardboard, paint and baking soda. <laughs> and then I prefer large statement pieces over like a gallery wall situation. I love gallery walls but I think in just such a small room if you do go for larger statement pieces, it really helps the small room feel bigger. So this is our bedroom. It's actually a decent size, it fits everything we need, the bed, the nightstands, and then I have this big olive tree. Again, I just go for very large oversized items in my apartment. I just think it draws the eye up, makes everything feel bigger. And then behind me are my floor length curtains. I just think in every room, if you have a window, you should hang floor length curtains. They just, again, draw the eye up and make a room feel bigger than it actually is. I've had this plant hanging here for quite some time. I neglect it so often. I water it maybe once a month and it keeps growing like crazy. I keep having to chop off the vines. And then these are some hanging pendant lights which I made recently. I copied some ceramic ones that I saw off Etsy and I made them out of plaster and literally card paper. And that was it and some string. It was the easiest DIY I ever did. And then again, I have this wall paneling. Just, we, we don't have a headboard and I was going to get one, um, but I just think I like the relaxed, effortless vibe and with the wall panelling I kind of think I can get away without a headboard. And then over here I have my little vanity area. I just popped a bistro table and a small cane chair that I found in Housing Works and this is where I get ready every morning. Um, I hung this pendant light above because I just think it helps make the space in this corner feel like its own. I think if you add pendant lights or a rug underneath a little area, it just defines the space. Over in this window, maybe you noticed, but this is where our air conditioner is. I have the same thing in <laughs> I have the same thing in the living room as well, and I just pop a piece of art in front. I just think that looks better. We just have this dresser here. Um, this is for Martin's clothes. Um, and then again on top we have the framed brick square which was red brick and gold and I painted that as well to match the one in the kitchen. Um, and then just a little photo of my nanny and granddad. And then I also have this little pedestal here. It's kind of just sitting here not knowing where to be or what to do, but I found this in Brooklyn at a thrift store. I cannot remember the name of it but I knew I had to have it, and for now, it's just there. I might just leave it empty. I don't think it needs anything. And then we have the full-length mirror, which I, it's actually from Anthropology, but I got it on Apartment Deco for so much cheaper. And it just, obviously, it's for me to get ready in the morning because my closet is right there, but it helps reflect some light too. <laughs> Yeah.
Give me 